All right, how to calculate ethanol the easy way. So you'll just go to Google and um, on Google, just type in ethanol calculator. So the WRX fuel tank is 16.6 .6 gallons. And then you just go and you pick how much ethanol you want. So a lot of people run E30. So for E30, it's 4.4. Uh, really, I just do like 4.5. It doesn't have to be perfect, but 4.5, and then you just fill the rest up of uh, 93. Of course, if you have um, not a full tank, you can change this, but I normally recommend running the tank down to almost dry and change it for me. I'm on E50, so I just click E50, and then this is going to be 8.885. Uh, for me, I'll just do 9 gallons just so it's, you know, it's easy, do nine gallons and I fill up the rest on 93. But that's the best way to do it. Um, there's no, you know, there's no confusion and it's super simple. Um, I always run the tank down, but if you didn't, let's say you have a, you know, half of a tank, if you do a little bit of extra ethanol, you're gonna be fine. Um, so let's just say, hypothetically, you do half, so 8.3, and then same thing, you know, you want the E30 mix. So you're just gonna do half of a tank and it just says 2.2. .2. So, you know, if, I, if my gauge is looking about half, I'm probably just gonna put 2.5 I'm put a little extra in there. And then you just get a higher octane rating. It's not gonna affect anything. It's not gonna throw your tune off. Um, and you know, obviously when you're initially getting tuned, you want tuned, you want it to be as accurate as possible. But after you're already tuned, adding a little bit of extra ethanol is not going to affect anything. Um, so that, that's the best way to do it. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I've been running ethanol in my vehicles for years um, with no issues.